Every creator wants to keep their publishing and more are actually starting to do the work of the publisher themselves. They're beginning to see that the collections can really be done by them or partner. They see that the sync agents actually do bring the biggest checks in publishing. And on top of that, they can see that publishers have the worst loan that you can actually get in the business. They only exist because you don't have the time or the know-how or the staff to do the job. And this nearly scares 97% of the artists out there in the game. If this is your career, then you should really know how it works, right? So let's tackle why you should or should not need a publisher or why you do and you don't need a publisher in this music game coming up right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham. Yes, I'm definitely ruffling some feathers today and I might be shooting myself in my own foot. I don't know, just depends on you and who you are. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Collections is our first stop and most want publishers to collect. They do, that's why a lot of you all get the song trust deals, the distro kit, well I don't think distro kit does publishing, but the tune court deals, the CD baby deals, the ditto music deals, one RPM does it. Like everybody has a publishing house to do collections and collections only, and this is how they get people. So music publishing is slow money, and as long as you have your song registered properly, you will not need a music publisher to collect for you. You don't. Music publishing will be the final frontier in the music industry to get revamped, but it's happening. And so things will be so automated that publishers won't be necessary to do this job anymore, meaning the actual human staff. Because all it is is data entry. And as soon as they find the, the way to enter the data quicker and faster, the game is over. And right now it's easy to do it, I got you covered if you don't know how to do this, I'll explain later, just hold on. Now all sync agents don't work under publishers. They don't. Many sync agents don't work in publishing houses. They just don't. They have their own facilities and they get their own deals and clearances. Many will say that you need the music publisher to get great sync opportunities, but this is simply not true. It's not. You can hire your own sync agent all day and they rake in millions independently for their clients. And they do really good jobs, like really good jobs. You know what I mean? To the point where that's all that they do. To keep the lights on, to pay the staff, you gotta bring in a lot of money to do that. You gotta have a lot of connections to do that. And even some publishers subcontract sync agents to get their catalog off. It just is what it is. Now, it's the worst loan in the music business. Now I know record deal loans <laughs> are bad, but the music publishing loans, oh God. The loan repayment on non-hit records is so slow that a $100,000 loan minus taxes, minus expenses is so bad, it's not even worth it because in one year you'll be broke again living from advance to advance if you make it and if you recoup it. You know, as you can see, you're technically living paycheck to paycheck, but you'll have a surprising gap between the next one after you run out of cash because no hit records means no fast money. So you can try to say, oh man, I got more records coming in the pipeline or, but hey, I did recoup the $100,000. Yeah, but you know, I don't know if we're willing to bet another $100,000 on you. So we might do 75 for you or whatnot. And it just, it ain't enough. If you're not a hit writer, you might got three chances at it. You might have three chances at it. So maybe most only get one chance to get an advanced loan. And then we're not even talking about going into suspension and all this type of stuff in the deals. So what do publishers do at this point in time? They collect your royalties and make sure your registrations are done properly since you don't know how to do them, but I can show you how to do it coming up, all right? If they are full service, they work to get you sync placements and they also look for other licensing opportunities outside of television. Lastly, if they are big, they have a network of songwriters that you can work with to boost your creativity and catalog. But to be honest, if you have any drive about yourself, you can find your crew of writers yourself. And this is true. Here is their main selling point, direct deals. Direct deals allow them to bypass mechanical royalty collection agencies and go directly to the source, saving you money, right? Well, not exactly. It saves you about 11 to 15% of the money initially, but to get into the deals with companies who do direct deals, they'll just add it back to your admin fee at around 25 to 30%. So you're back in the same boat anyway. You just got more opportunities, maybe. We ain't even gonna talk about the ad source royalties or the royalties that come from all um, countries overseas. So that is their selling point. It allows you to get the money faster, but I mean, how much money are we getting faster? What are we talking about here? If you're not a hit writer, their main selling point should be, we only do deals with hit writers or people that have syncable records. I'm just, I'm being honest, man. I'm being honest. 
Now, the creator connection kills the publishers. If you're great at networking, then once you get going in this biz, you don't need the publisher to make your connections. Creators seek out other creators. So what are we talking about here? You can make a record happen tonight while the publisher is still trying to make the phone calls tomorrow morning. Get what I'm saying? If you know how to network and wheel and deal, you know, if you don't rely on, oh, I need you to help me get a session because if they get you a session, they charging you for it. So that's why creators start doing more work. Just is what it is. Now, I don't know how to do the job. Well, all you need to know is how to register the records properly at every entity that collects money for you. It's not complicated and I can show you how. I'll get to it, it's in the 60 day record label course in the song registration section, all right? Now, how do I keep up with the collections? You don't have to once the records are registered on time and properly. It's pretty much on autopilot these days and that's the best kept secret in the game. That's really a huge part of the publishing game. Letting the money roll in and then let me divvy it up, let me take my cut, let me, let me give you yours, right? Or if I advanced you, let me pay down the advance. I'll give you the rest of the money, you know, after you recoup. That's pretty much it. Because there are so many records that if they're not showing you favor to get your records synced or put you in the studio, this is all they're doing. And you can do this too. Now, what about the advance money? I need money. Do you really or is working a job too hard? Hear me out. I know creating and working can be hard on your brain. However, it's going to be worse when you get a taste of freedom and you got to go back to the job, meaning that you get in advance and you got some breathing room and then the money runs out and now you need a job because the publisher won't advance you no more. 90% of writers will not have a hit record in their profile. So you'll want to build your passive income over time and then quit your job. Besides, I know hit songwriters who devise a system to work a real job because the music industry doesn't provide benefits for their family. You may want to think about this again as you get older. I don't care how much money they advance you, benefits, man, to have those benefits are key for a lot of people and they ain't giving you no benefits. You know what I'm saying? So you need to really think about this. Now, if you are an artist, a producer, a singer, songwriter, or a new music exec who wants to build your record or your publishing company in 60 days or less without searching all over the internet for the how-tos, then I built this just for you. It's called the 60 Day Record Label Course. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a strong, robust company foundation for you to operate all this stuff that we talked about today on. So you can do this stuff for yourself, okay? On top of that, you're gonna learn how to play the game via contract. And then on top of that, here's where it kicks in. You're gonna learn how to collect your international and domestic record and publishing royalties all in one spot, which is your company that we're gonna build inside this course together. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And if you trip and fall through this course, you can always book a call. I'll help you back up and help you hobble across the finish line, but it's pretty foolproof. So you shouldn't be falling anytime soon. All right, that's the key. International and domestic royalties. I'll show you how to get them in this course right here. All right, you can jump in right down below. But if this is your first time watching the channel, grab the free stuff below, 10 major steps to increase your record label's profits. A free split sheet is included with the download. Now, if you stay independent, there's a whole lot of fancy things you can do to get more money from your publishing and keep your peace of mind. You get to see your money directly and you can move around the chessboard a lot more freely. You can. This is like the retirement money as Sir Mix-a-Lot says. Publishing is retirement money. Let it build, let it stack, let it grow. Leave it alone. You know what I mean? Go make money in other areas. This is for my artists, you know what I'm saying? But if you sign with a publisher, if you sign with a publisher, it usually takes you two to three years to find out what you could have been doing to accelerate your career. It will take this long because the publisher will have you working at first building you. And then if you don't work out, the horrors start to set in. So we don't wanna be here, we wanna be here. Want, this is where we wanna be. Okay, so if you were struggling with, you know, do I sign or do I not sign? You now have a means to make an educated decision on that. I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't. It's your choice. But all I'm saying is in the age of technology that in this in the space of the age of technology that we're in right now and how AI is coming in, I mean, the, the, you know, the work of the publishers diminishing. So anyway, music money makers, if you make music, you should always make money. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com. Jump into the 60 day record label course right down beneath this video. Grab the free stuff below. Book a call on musicmoneymakeover.com and I'll see you next time. Peace.